All right, this is what your database should look like up to this point so far. Um, remember, this is one of the tables in, within inside the database. This is the one with colleges. Something to keep in mind that the database is constantly have to be updated and adjusted. Um, so we're going to do some update and customization to this table here. The first thing, um, some of you may or may not have noticed that UNC Greensboro, I think it was pretty obvious that there was a misprint in there. And this happens sometimes. Sometimes data gets entered uh, incorrectly and it has to be changed. Um, you'll see that it, the in-state tuition was $49,440 and the out-of-state was cheaper. So that doesn't make any sense because somebody who entered the information in here put one too many zeros. So we're going to take one of those zeros out and that looks much more accurate. All right, um, the other thing that we're going to do with this database is we're going to add a field to it. And we're also going to add some records because this is what happens with databases. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it back into um, design view. Okay, this is where we are able to add new fields and uh, and make some changes and you actually could add some fields in the other view but I think this view um, is a little bit easier to work for work with so in this view right under out of state we're going to put a new field which is going to be nickname and we're going to make that a text field and we're just going to leave it like that and then we're going to switch back to our data sheet view and it says you must first save this table go ahead and click yes so we've got this new field here and we are going to put in um, some of these nicknames now I'm going to give you a website where you can find the nicknames you, you probably know some of these already okay But what you're going to do is you're going to look up the ones you don't know. Okay. So that's the next thing you're going to do. You've added a field. Look up the ones you don't know. And we're also going to add some records. Um, so far, we have only put public colleges and universities. And that means that they are funded by the state. But North Carolina also has some excellent private colleges that you may have heard of, like Duke, Wake Forest, okay, so I'm going to give you a handout and you're going to also add to some of these and these are private which means they are funded by private money um, and they usually cost quite a bit more to to attend um, but anyway we've made some changes we've added a field okay and we're going to add some records and the last thing we're going to do is sometimes with these tables you may want to customize them a little bit and make their alternating colors a little different so we're going to come right over here where it says alternate row color and I want you to choose something light because if it's too dark you're not going to be able to read your data but I want you to go ahead and choose an alternate color over here as long as it's not too dark all right once again when you finish typing everything that you need to get in here um, I want you to go ahead and um, click the little diskette for save. And, and remember, with a database, it's different because you actually have to save the tables individually. And then you're able to close the database and, um, and submit it. So once again, we're working with the same database. We've just made some changes. Uh, and as long as you follow all these instructions, you should be fine. And that's it. See you next time.